Alrighty, so last time we were here in Zuldazar, uh, we had just arrived here in the Zuldalar, and we are now basically doing chores, as it were, and trying to clean the heck out of this kingdom so the king will listen to us. And this has led to other things, which has led to other things, which has led to us delivering some messages and punching the shit out of some local thugs. And I am okay with that, because our character has punch as one of their main abilities. Like... Also touch of death. It also means we can do more touch of death. That is nice. And Alright, we need to show the word of Zul to this guy. Howdy. Here is the word of Zul. So the time has come at last. I have been saving this messenger beast since the Thunder King rose. It would seem that day has finally arrived. No, a Jamaican accent. Wrong. Ugh. I keep forgetting everyone here has a freaking Jamaican accent. That's the problem with troll culture. Not problem, it's just I can't do a good Jamaican accent. Uh, oop. Can't jump over that. Uh, there's some more thugs. Punch. Punch. Lots of punches. Oh, uh. Those are some Fan Fury thugs. Blast them. That's a lot of damage. Ouch. Oh, we actually died. Okay, so death. I think most I should probably explain how death works. All right, so we have died. The main downside of this is that all of our items have taken about a 10 or so percent durability hit, and we are now dead, and the world is all ghosty. Uh, we have a few options here. We can speak to Buan Samdi here. And in return, he is willing to return it to, he will return us to life, uh, debuff us for 10 minutes, and we'll take more dur durability damage, or we can go and find our corpse. Thankfully, we have Ghost Bear here, which allows us to fly all the way back down to our corpse. Uh, some zones you'll have a ghosty mount, some you won't. Uh, but alright, that was, we attacked three mobs at once. Let's avoid doing that. Let's use our Chi Burst from this distance. And blast them. Lots of punches. There we go. I think it's because we still have mostly like white gear. We don't have any like set stat boosting gear quite yet, apart from our like one mace. Hopefully, we'll find something soon though. spell. I am really happy we picked the class with healing spells. I didn't know that monks had healing spells going in. Ooh, touch of death threaty. You know what that means. Oh. Vandalari Vagrants. Alright, I think we should... Alright, let's get back on our turtle. And try and find more Word of Zul people. That's what we should be focusing on. Oh, let's see if we can take two of them on. Kick, punch, spin. Nice. Do our expel harm, which we can do while moving. But we also keep using our vivify. Uh, that's the first we need to see the world of Zul. Let's bounce. Hey! Hello. You, it is you. Zul described you to me once, in perfect detail. You even have that ding on your face. What? Just as he described. Tell me, it is true. Have you brought me do his word? Here you go. The time has come! I must tell the others. 
Those still faithful to him will know. Uh, interesting. I don't know what's going on, but alrighty. Uh, you need to find Doc Master Cabo as well. And it looks like he's over there. We also need to beat up more thugs. There's some Armani thugs. She burst. Punch. Kick. Punch. Kick. Stun. Punch. Punch. Kick. Someone just poked me on Discord. Discord poke result. Hey there. Punch. Kick. Punch. Kick. Punch. Lots of punches. Uh, oh. Looks like my recording software is picking up those Discord pokes. I did not actually expect it to do that. Cool, alright. Please ignore people who are poking me on Discord. Alright. Poke. And 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need three more thugs. Let's go. Punch! Hit! Punch! She burst! Kick! Punch! That's the rhythm we need to go for. Spell harm. Hi there. Punch! Lots of punches. Punch! Yeah. Nice. Hello, Doc Master Kobo. That's how I pronounce your name. I oversee hundreds of vessels that land and leave every month from these docks, and I make sure every one of them ships is on time. Speak quickly, because my time is in high demand. Here's your piece of paper. Zeus Visions! Did he tell you about the time he predicted Zandalar would seek beneath the waves? He was wrong. Oh, there was damage, but Zul fled with our fleet and started a few wars. We re Those of us who stayed endured. We rebuilt. Because that is what it means to be Zandalar. And, oh, uh, we're missing one more thug. Uh... Yeah, we can find one more of them. Uh, Sand Fury Thug. Hi there. Punch. Kick. Punch. She burst. Punch. Lots of punches. Got him. Alright, so we can turn in these two quests to these two over here. Ah, you are a competent Aaron Pandarin, after all. Perhaps you could be trusted with more important tasks, like trash removal. Look, Zolan is going all about this wrong. If you want the Amani, or anyone to pay attention, you take out their leaders. Go into Talaman and look out for their mighty gong. Challenge four of them disciples to combat and slay them. And for you? You have me thanks. I think having summoned the horror dispensed to justice was extra fitting. The fact we have left our harbor so unprotected worries me greatly. General Dacasset has orders to ensure this place has protection. Guard protection. I see none of that. Jarazet is a stubborn general, and one I've had my eye on for a while now. Regardless, we must ready the lesser tribes who rule this city with a message they will understand. Our charge here with collecting heads. Enter Telefanact and Talaman and collect the quota of heads. And in return, she'll give us some magical gear. I'll take it. And you. You would like something. The San Fury tribes may have been a hand in some crimes around here, but it's really their false belief system that makes them do this sort of thing. Enter Tanfarak Bang the Gong within, 
and face the Hydra they keep as their sacred foot. Bring me this thing's tongues. Wonderful. So we're going to go beat up more trolls. Do -do. All right, so I believe it is there we're trying to go. Let's go in this direction. Oh boy, there's a guy there fighting people. Punch! And he's also a Pandaren, so I'll say hello. And be nice about things. Touch of death. Got ourselves ahead. Armani Warrior. Blast him with the Jade Light. Oh, he charged us. Nice. Punch. Lots of punches. Punch. Kick. Punch. And ooh, that is... Alright, so this Silver Dragon here means this guy is a rare encounter. I mean, he's not here all the time. Uh, he does have more health than us. Uh, but when's that ever stopped us before? Oh, we need to go around. Because our stubby legs won't let us jump. Oh, no. Hey, I told you why I was jumping puzzles sometimes. Punch. Kick. Punch. Oh, boy. Lots of punches. Let's try to heal ourselves. Punch. And she burst. Stun him. Nice. Oh, crap. Kick him. Wait for our energy to recharge. And someone's helping us. Nice. Alright. Alright. And we got an axe out of the deal. Nice. So I'm going to say thank you, random person. I appreciate the help. Now, is this axe an upgrade for us? Hell yeah, it is. It's actually more of an upgrade for our heavy mace, hilariously enough. Because this is... Actually, no, this still gives agility. I think that's more important. So, alright. Uh, we got ourselves an Armani Berserker's Chopper. This gives us agility, stamina, critical strike, and haste. Nice! And, alright, we need, need to bang this gong and fight these Armani Disciples. This is a reference to an old raid that happened called Sulaman. And these are all the different bosses in the raid. All right, punch! Yeah. I'm waiting, strangers. You're gonna make me stronger. All right, she burst. Blasting them. And we got more friends here as well. Punch. And all right, let's see if we can't take out this healing totem. Nice. Punch. Kick. Punch. Spell harm. Kick. Another healing totem. Punch. Nice. So again, we're going to say thank you to people when they help us. Hello there. Your death gonna come to stranger. Should never come to this place. Oh boy, soaring eagles. And touch of death. Hey, another one. I be waiting, stranger. Your death gonna make us stronger. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a big bear. Punch. Y'all be dead soon. Enough. Got him. Guys are gonna say, see why you're a friend here for helping us. Spell harm. And we start rolling. And all right, we need a few more Armani heads. Hello there. Ouch. Punch. Lots of punches. Ta da. Ta da. Ouch! Punch! Kick! Blast him with the chi! Punch! Kick! Punch! Lightning! Honestly, I don't think the lightning's doing anything. Uh, another Amani head. There we go. Hanago, who are you? Armani Troll Ambassador? Let's steal your head then! Punch! Kick! Punch! Done! Punch! Lots of punches. Spell harm. Alright, we need one more Armani head. Ah, uh, there's one. Jade Lightning. Or no, even better. She burst. And then touch of death. Alright, we got all the Armani heads we need. I need to go get these Sand Fury heads on the other side of this. Ouch! Alright, I wasn't even gonna fight you, bro. But if you say so. There we go. And Bird, get expel harmed. Or, I'll get the Chi for it. Roll it. And now we're out of combat. We can get on our mount. Let's head over here. So where did they say it was? Talfarak. It is this little hallway here. And oh boy, that's a it's a Dune Rider. Let's see if we can grab the Chi burst. There we go. Nice punch. Kick. Punch. Kick. Punch. Lots of punches. Sand Fury head. Got him. Oh boy, that guy's on low health. Oh, I'll try and snipe that with our lightning. This is that blood elf monk who helped us before. Thank you. Punch. Kick. Punch. She burst. Lots of punches. Heal. And now we are going to do this ancient Kong where we need three tongues of Gazrion. That's Gazrion. Get punched! Let me stop pressing that Jade Lightning key, it is not helping us. Regenerative blood. I wish I could interrupt that. I don't have an interrupt yet, unfortunately. Oh. Dodge. That. That doesn't do anything. Ah, got him. Oh, he had three tongues. I mean, I'll take it. That works. Okay, this jade lightning. I don't mean to keep hitting this. This is just... This must be on the wrong key. I think I'll put it on Shift-E. I'm going to have to press Shift-E in order to do my lightning. Because I don't think I'm going to be doing it that often. Punch. Kick. E. Punch. Oh, accidentally pulled more mobs. 
I dislike the fact that I actually dislike that this ability has a range. Touch of death. Kick. Kick. Punch. I right, got three heads. Apparently, they're all glaring at us. Right, so here's the situation I need my lightning. Got him. We got all six of our heads. We got our tongues. We got everything we need. And we're going to turn in all three of these quests at once. Run our turtle all the way down. Not sure how we're staying on our turtle, but you know, that's just semantics at this point. Bang! Spell harm. Troll politics are more like a blood sport. When visions you do not understand the language of your laws, it becomes necessary to explain your laws in a language they do understand. Alright, so do we want a bracer, or do we want a Golden City Great Cloak? Uh, what does this look like? Ooh, that looks cool. I'll take the Great Cloak, please. And it upgraded for us automatically. Alright, so sometimes when you get loot from a quest, it'll just automatically be better. Cool. Alright, so this gives us three agility, uh, four stamina, three crit, and three versatility. Nice. And you there. It will not be long before the disciples you killed are replaced with new ones. Hopefully the next ones will learn from the past. And we got level 3. Or level 17, rather. But we got the three tongues. Ha ha ha! You can tell a lot about a tribe by what they worship. Cool. Alright, we got an ability for our blackout kick. It costs two fewer chi. Alright, so our blackout kick now only costs one chi. Cool. Blood magic be practicing in our city. Guards missing, and our chief spy Yasuma is acting suspicious. We must possess, present this to Rastakhan, or without Yasma interfering. Luckily, Rastakhan is a clever king, which is something his opponents often forget. I have prepared a report in code made by King Rastakhan, and known only to myself and my brother Habatu. Bring it to Habatu, and he will see that it gets to the king's ear. Alrighty. So perhaps we do have a teensy bit of a problem down here, but it's nothing we need to bother the king with. I will inform Zul. He will decide if it is worthy of Arastakhan's attention. Well then, alright. Well, I think I'm going to declare deliver this report myself. And actually, rather than running all the way back there... Let's take the flight path. Because I believe the flight path... Yeah, it's right over here. Uh, let's fly back up to the Great Seal for 60 silver. Yeah, so I don't think we actually attack with our weapons and such. Uh, but the fact, they, the fact of the matter is they're giving us stat boosts, buffs. And okay, to explain all these different stats. So... Every class is a primary stat, so it could be strength, it could be agility, it could be intelligence. In our case, our primary stat is agility. So the more agility we have, in generally, the more powerful our attacks will be. Uh, so right now, our Tiger's Palm is doing 21 physical damage, mostly due to the fact we have 56 agility. Stamina here, uh, every 10 points of stamina, or every point of stamina is 10 health. So stamina is always on most pieces of gear and it makes you harder to kill and you know that's mostly a thing for tanks but every character benefits from having a high health armor obviously reduces damage reduction uh, there's cloth which provides the least and plate which provides the most uh, so obviously we're only reducing damage by like less than 10 percent with our leather armor but you know we have our healing spells to help mitigate that uh, we have crit, which increases our critical strike chance, so we have about an 11% chance to crit. Uh, haste, which increases our energy regeneration, our attack speed. Uh, mastery, which usually just makes us better at whatever it is we do. 
So in our case, when we combo our abilities, uh, they get better. And versatility also just makes you better in general. Increases damage and healing done, and decreases damage taken. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We've been replacing some... We have this awesome Berserker's Choppa. Alright, so Harabu here. Hmm. Zolan speaks highly of your deeds. Perhaps we, mean not ne we may need not kill you yet. So he'll give us money, experience, and war resources. Uh, this was the main currency back during Battle for Azeroth for doing missions at the mission table. Uh, I don't know if you can still do those in Battle for Azeroth, but okay, we'll take it. Ta-da! And alright, we have delivered that uh, message. Where are we going to head next? Uh, that's the Zanchuli Council. It's a place to head. And oh, I also remembered something else I want to do. Alright, so let's first make use of our bouncy racial. And break our legs for only 177 damage. Uh, but down there, actually, are a bunch of profession trainers. Uh, because the benefits of professions are split up by expansion. And you need to train the relevant profession in the expansion you're playing in order to make use of professions in that expansion. So since we are in Zandalar right now, we need to train our Zandalari professions. Alright, so down here where we want to be. So let me find a guard and say, hey, do you know uh, trainers? Oh uh, yeah, do you know where the skinning trainer is? Uh, it is right over there. Skinning trainer, all right. Uh, he will teach us Zandalari skinning, which tells us how to skin in the Zandalar. We'll also get b gather bones, gather leather, and gather scales more effectively. Absolutely, I'll learn all those things. And also, can you tell us where... No, I want... Uh, trainers. I want enchanting trainer. It is... Uh, do I go into the west base? Uh, the face of pyramid in the How hall of glimmers. So, here? Is the hall of glimmers? Uh, hall of glimmers, okay. Hi there, enchanting trainer. I would like to learn how to enchant things. So Zandalari enchanting, and she'll teach us how to make a whole bunch of stuff. It only costs 10 copper each, so absolutely I'd like to learn all these things. There's all these apprentice enchanters. Uh, she's also willing to sell things. Ooh, copper rod, that's a thing we need. Uh, we needed strange dust and lesser magic essences, absolutely, alrighty. So let us open our enchanting ability and see what we can do. So we can now make a ruined copper rod. All right. Now, which is what we need to make all these things. Let us enchant a ruined copper rod. Ta-da! Uh, we can now actually start applying enchantments to our gear. Uh, so ruined copper rod. Uh, we, need, we need gloom dust, it seems, is what we're going to be needing to enchant stuff. Uh, we can increase our bracers to increase our dodge. Let's do that. And we can increase our bracers to increase health by two. Uh, sure, let's do that as well. Alrighty. So our enchanting skill is now six. Which, you know, is not the best when it can go up to like 175. Uh, but it is good. I also saw a quest over here. Link to, yes, the, sh the Scrapper. Alrighty, so... Hi there, Mixel. Hey there, stranger. You want the scoop of the latest invention of the Skentry? Called the Shredmaster Mark I. This baby can triple, no, quintuple your production capacity as a crafter of armor weapons or other doohickeys you adventurers wander around with. Here, take these pants and use the Shredmaster on them. You'll get the gist of it. Alright, so what this is, is basically is, is a piece of equipment that you can toss shit into. You can press scrap, and it'll give you, uh, basically crafting components. In case you don't, so it's like disenchanting, but for, like, other classes. This machine's gonna change everything. And just like that, you're back in business. All the material you put into making the item come back to you with the Shred Master Mark 1. Okay, maybe not all the materials, but hey, something's better than nothing, right? 
Oh, and keep an eye out for Explodum. It's what we've discovered is a magical byproduct of the scrapping process. It's quite potent. It only shows up when we scrap the real fancy stuff. All right, and now we are we know how to scrap things. We're probably going to be disenchanting things rather than scrapping things, but hey, I'll take the free experience and money. Why not? Alrighty, but let us go to the Sanchuli Council and speak with the War Druid Loti. I think it's how I pronounce that. I am not Central American or Jamaican, so I am butchering all of these names, unfortunately. Let's quest over there as well. Wonder what that's all about. Let's do this first, though. Hello, War Druid Loti. Welcome to the steps of Zanchul Tarvi. You'll be treading on sacred ground soon. You're coming a good time, Tarvi. I've need for a weapon such as yourself. You have some spies. There are dread blood cultists in our ranks. King Rastakhan has charged me with tracking down any trolls guilty of practicing blood magic and purging them. Take this totem. Root out their stench of blood magic and cleanse them from this holy place. When you're done, tell the lazy Hexlord Ral to get off his perch and help keep this place secure. So we need to find some cultists. You can find Hexlord Ral at the other end of the Tarrants. Be sure to insult him, Barbie. Oh boy. Eye of Yasima? Is that what we use that for? Interesting. Alright, uh... See some people, and we use the totem next to them. Any of you guys using blood magic? Oh, there is fun. Punch, touch of death, kick, punch, stun, kick, punch, lots of punches. Ah, right, we got two users of blood magic. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, something also I wanted to mention is you don't want to have to keep clicking on everything to auto-loot. Uh, there's a key for that. So, escape, uh, interface, auto-loot. Uh, other things in here that you should probably be aware of. Uh, sticky targeting means if you click on something and you click somewhere else, it you'll stay targeted to whatever it is. Uh, auto-loot is obviously super amazing. Uh, target of target uh, basically lets you see, like, if your target is targeting something, you'll see a thing down there. Uh, your screen will flash at low health. You can turn that off. Uh, you can also uh, do scrolling combat text, which will basically produce numbers whenever you attack people. So, for instance, any blood magic users here? Yep. All right, so now you'll see there's just a whole bunch of, like, numbers popping up everywhere. Every time we take or deal damage or anything of the sort, uh, we are now informed of it. This can be super useful, especially if you're doing PvP. Uh, personally, I just kind of find it annoying, but uh, to each his own. Uh, display. Uh, there is social, so you can uh, block people from squaring. You can block people from trading or inviting you to other uh, people or to guilds. Uh, if, you, if you're getting spam with guild invites, you can block this. Uh, action bars we've already gone out of. Uh, you can put your name in the world if you so desire. Uh, you have name plates above people. Uh, personally, I, what's called I like this being up. Uh, en enemy unit name plates. Uh, being able to show your special resources underneath your name plate. Big name plates. Name plates for friendly players if you're a healer. Uh, you can change the camera settings. You can invert your mouse, or you could do like click to move. Uh, if you're playing from like Neverwinter Nights. So I can right click on places. A lot of people don't realize this is in the game. It's super useful. You can like, if, if you'd rather just use all of your abilities from your keyboard and you don't want to have to press WASD to move, you got to click the move feature, which is super fun. Personally, oopsie, wrong menu. Personally, not my thing, uh, but uh, some people like it. Uh, colorblind features. Obviously, depending on what sort of color blindness you need, you can do that. Uh, and obviously, red profiles, but that's like a super advanced thing. Anywho, I don't like these eyes of Yasuma being everywhere. Okay, any of you guys blood magic? Just scanning you. Hope you don't mind. 
Scanning everybody for blood magic round here. Any blood magic round here? Yup, there's blood magic round here. Sorry, that is going to be some bad news for you, bro. Not a fan. Yeah, so now when we right click stuff, we don't even have to right click a second, or don't have to left click it a second time to pick it up. It just bang. Ah, let's get on our turtle. Oh, something else to mention about mounts. If you're not moving it on a ground mount, you can press space bar. And your mount will do a cute little animation like that. Which is cute. Alright. Excuse me, any blood magic around here? Any blood magic going on around here? Yup, there's a lot of blood magic around here, sir. Uh, sir, I gotta say, not a huge fan of this blood magic. Would be nice if you came quietly. They never come quietly. Punch. Kick. Punch. Lots of punches. Uh, we really should be using our roll more to get the heck out of dodge. Uh, but I, what's it called? Honestly, I just like punching people. Uh, excuse me, any blood magic here? Any blood magic going around here? Oh, of course there is. Got a kick. Oh, press roll there accidentally. It's done. And let's finish you off with lightning. That does, like, no damage. Oh, my God. Alright. Oh, we found a bunch of blood magic at the very least. And, ooh, there's a flight path down there. Uh... Is it worth it to jump all the way down there for a flight path? Ah, uh, I know we have our bouncy racial, so we'll probably survive. Hey, we survived, I think. Maybe just because we did the roll. So here's a flight master. We can now fly to the silver. Or sliver. I don't know where this is, but now we can fly here. If we ever want to. Right, let's go all the way up here. And here we are. And now we need to go to Hex Lord Rao, uh, who is apparently above us. Uh, I am confused. And yeah, now because of our option, you'll see health bars above basically anything we're near. Alright, Hex Lord Rao. What the sneering vile raptor zealous is calling me out for not doing my share? Ah. Let me guess. Loti had you killing any trolls that spell the blood magic, yes? Well, that is barely a half measure. Uh, see, blood magic comes from the old ways. And our people have been giving it a lore since the wells fell off our northern border. Come, we go for a little ride and patrol the border to Nazimir. That's where all these bad ideas be coming from. So, he wants us to patrol with him. Uh, so, what do you want? Ready to patrol. Loti's mental is too grounded for my taste. I prefer a Paradox's eyes view. Per para Paradoxus? Per Paradactyl. Sure. And he wants us to get on here. It is like my lore always says. If you can see the source of corruption, go higher. I'll call out the best spots so and you can have the honor of drossing down a sentry totem. Was to right at her the winged lord in his journey. Hop on and keep your eyes open. A few years back this whole land shook during the cataclysm. Our north gate fell and swarms of blood troll savages poured through. That was when we got our first real taste of blood magic. Now that pretty nonsense be practiced by the lesser tribes. Our defenses grew weaker. Princess Tanji has been asking for more troops, but her father has not acted fast enough, and she's turned to the hard. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just in a vehicle, so I'm pressing my one key whenever I see a location. Throwing down totems. Not a week goes by that we do not see some Zandalari turn into blood magic, learned by those heretics in Nazmir. I could also end this immediately, but I'd like to finish this quest. Let's see if we see another... Thing up there. And I'm just trying to press one and aiming these totems. Throwing. Close enough. Hmm. Something feels different. I sense a great power resident inside Zanchu. I will leave you at Loti. Let her no let her know let her know this cause of all this trouble that may lie within Zanchul itself. 
So now we are flying all the way back. And here. Hi there, War Druid. Oh, so the bent no tusk breather is trying to win you over a little flight and some charm, eh? So hands or waist? Uh, uh honestly, I'll take the gloves. So I like this belt because we got it when our master died. Nice, let's put on our hands. Nice, they're green. Uh, let's do. The courtyard of Zanchu has been overrun with paradactyls driven mad by some dark ritual. Power is coalescing here, and it's hard to tell who or what is causing it. I need to track down the source. In the meantime, you take this, the power gonk. Call his allies to help you in battle. Slay them maddened paradactyls. When you're done, tell Rao to get his flock under control. Something feel different, that's all Rao said. This flock of paradactyls have swarmed the courtyard of Zanchul. They are being driven mad. Shoo them away before they hurt themselves or others. Alright, we have the power of Gonk. When we have two enemies within ten yards, we can call a war pact, which will cause the children of Gonk to come to our aid. Alrighty, so... Get shooed? Just have to walk into them? Okay, let's just walk into them. Cool. Hi there, death. <laughs> I love that. Oh, hey, these guys are skinnable, so let's use our skinning skill on them to get bloodstained bones, uh, shimmer scales, and uh, something we can sell. Get chewed. Obviously, we can only skin things with fur. Uh, these look to be the first beasts we've actually encountered so far. So, punch, kick, punch, stun, kick. She burst. Punch. Lots of punches. Loot. And skin it. Ooh, calcified bones. Uh, these would probably be super useful for a leather worker, but honestly, I was playing just selling all this stuff on the auction house for money. And I will explain how to use the auction house once we get back there. So, punch. Kick. Punch. Kick. Kick. Punch. Oh, don't even need to do a lot of punches. Uh, got him. Blood range paradaxal saw. Right, can we blast him with our chi blast? Can. Nice. Lots of punches. Punch. Ooh, that thing, that thing right there is worth 15 gold. Nice. I'll take it. Spell harm. Rolling. Hello there. Kick. Kick. Punch. Lots of punches. It's done. And we loop. Ooh, we got a steak out of that. Uh, we may wish to consider putting ranks in cooking in order to level up our cooking skill. So we can cook that into food. Which again can give stat buffs or can restore our health. Honestly, we haven't had a need to, considering we can heal ourselves. Punch. Last the... Uh, oh, here's the children of Gonk coming to help us. Ah, uh, oh, spin, spin, spin. Lots of punches. Oh boy, that was a bit close. Thank you, children of Gonk. I'm just doing some skinning right now. Heal ourselves up. Uh, I, I need to keep. Uh, I think we. Yeah, I think we've killed all the paradoxes we need. We just need to shoo away all these little ones. So I think that means time for mount. Shoo. Shoo. Get shoo. Get shoo. Oh, now we're fighting something. Nice little ribbon going. I like it. Right, skin this guy. Oh, we're still in combat. Not sure why. I might be one of those. Yeah, I probably might be one of the pterodactyls. Poke. 
death. And at the very least, we're leveling up our skinning skill. Getting all these things which we can sell for later. Get shooed. Hey, there's a guy we need to turn this into. Get shooed. Heal. Roll. Hi there, Hex Lord. Did you have to kill so many of them? Why are you scaring away my flock? Oh, I know this situation is serious, but she gave you the power of her lore? Sounds like to me, Law is more big on recruiting than dealing with this blood troll threat. Inside the temple behind me are three guardians. When I walked in there, these things tried to kill me. Me! Someone has corrupted our own guardians. Here, I'll lend you the voice of my Loa, Paku, the paradox. Use it to crush this corruption. And, alright, we got an ability called Spear Hand Strike. So we stab someone in the throat, interrupting spell casting and preventing people from casting in that school for a few amount. So I'm going to put that on my V key, because that's where I usually like to put my interrupt. So if we see anyone spell casting, we can just go, nope, spear in the throat. And that looks like a spell caster. You might be able to do that too. Hi there. Punch. Kick. Punch. Stun. Stunning also works to interrupt spell casting. Punch. Lots of punches. Spear in the throat. exactly does the Spirit of Paku thing do? Killing a target gives us 5% haste and 25% movement speed for 15 seconds, once a minute. Nice! Kick! Punch! Kick! Uh, close enough. Alright, where's the next Guardians? There must be around here somewhere. Rolling. Punch! Lots of punches. Nice. Fortunately, these guys aren't animals, so we can't skin them. Hi there. Punch. Kick. Punch. Kick. Kick. She burst. Punch. Kick. Punch. Kick. Although they're guardian of the rights. Get punched. I saw back there during the fight. Ah, it's a treasure chest. Nice. Uh, in some places you will find these treasure chests. You can open them for swag. Uh, so in this case, we got a fancy coin. We got a ancient pilgrimage scroll casting. Uh, a rock and 24 roll resources. So we discovered the great sea scrolls. Dusk falls from the scroll case as you retrieve it, revealing an ornate etching. This artwork, rendered with obvious care and skill, depicts a scene from a Tortellian pilgrimage. A Tortellian being the big turtle people. This container has space for 12 rolled scrolls, only one of which is occupied. A complete set would likely be quite valuable to a Tortellian collector. So if we collect all these things, we'll get a piece of gear. Nice. And touch of death. I like we can just like insta-kill something once every three minutes. That's fun. And hey, here's that movement speed we were promised. Kick! Punch! Kick! And oh boy, there's the Guardian of the Dead we need to take out. Let's do it. Uh, the Tider Blood will break you from the north, and you will be made to kneel. She burst. Oh boy! Didn't mean to brag with the big guy, or, or well, I did, but not with that attack. Stun. Kick. Punch. Kick. Stab in the throat. Kick. Punch. Kick. Spin. Stone tusk. Nice. And hi there. Punch. Soon they will come from Nazmir, and you will all see what we have seen. Get she bursted. Nice, I like this movement speed. Much more effective than the dinosaurs, which only come when we're outnumbered. 
take it all the way up here. Hi, wardrobe. Oh, this is worse than we thought. Good news, we found the source of the corruption, though. The bad news, it's a ritual on the apex of Anchul. Blood magic wielding heretics are in power in some sort of dire troll up there. How... Let's see. How it's made in all the ways to Apex without us catching it is something I'm sure Ral and I will be arguing about the next year. And come, let us stop this heresy. The heresy, I'm going to stop tomorrow because it's, once again, it's ten almost 10 o'clock at night. And I am very tired. So, see you guys later.